Well, Emma Broyles, nice to have you back on Good Day. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for having me. This is such a treat. Well, let's talk, Emma, a little bit about student loan. Um, obviously, it was just like probably five seconds ago that you were in college, right? I'm actually still in college, which is so funny. So this is something that I'm dealing with currently. It's definitely stressful seeing those bills after bills come in and knowing that if I want to get a good ed education, it's going to cost quite a bit of money and I'm going to have to take out loans. So it's kind of just this looming thing over so many students in our country. But Miss American Organization is actually helping you out a little bit, right? Yes. So I'm actually still in my undergraduate degree at Arizona State University. I only have about a year and a half left. But when I won Miss America, I won $100,000 in scholarships. Amazing. Right. And then I also earn a six-figure salary as Miss America. So it's I'm so lucky that I'm able to use all of that money to pay for my degree. After I graduate with my undergraduate degree, I'll be headed to medical school, which, as you know, is quite expensive, Ka right? <laughs> exactly. So before I won Miss America, I actually had thrown away my dream of becoming a doctor because I knew I wasn't going to be able to afford medical school and the student debt was going to be too daunting. So I was actually going to go the PA route and then just save medical school for a day when I could afford yeah. it. But now that I've won Miss America and I've won all these scholarships, I can actually achieve my dream of becoming a doctor. Dr. Broyles in I the like house. I like it. Paging Dr. <laughs> Broyles. Head to the emergency room. I so like it. What does it cost to go to you know med, med school these days? That's crazy. Right, and it's so funny because yes, although I have all of these scholarships, I mean, they're not even going to last me all four years of medical school. So I'm still going right. to have student debt, even with um, all of the scholarships that I've been able to earn. And I remember um, still being in my undergraduate degree before I won Miss America, I was taking 21 credits, which is about 10 classes, and working two jobs. So you can imagine how many students around the country are dealing with similar things, trying to keep up with all of their classes on top of working one or two or sometimes even three jobs just mm -hmm. to pay for school. So, I mean, if somebody's sitting at home right now and is in a similar situation, what would you tell them? Like, what can they do right now to take advantage of what the Miss American organization is offering? Yeah, especially any young ladies out there, I would say get out and try to compete. There are so many different competitions around the country. So, of course, we've got local competitions, and then you go to your state competition, and then you win Miss America. But the great thing is you can compete at a local competition, and even if you don't, don't win the title, you can still walk away with scholarship money. So oh, you can get. So you don't have to get the right? crown, the crown, exactly. the crown. Exactly. Okay. So I say there's no harm in trying. Put yourself out there. I actually didn't really have any plans of winning Miss America. I, it was, was never something that I imagined myself doing. And then last summer, I ended up just kind of on a whim competing for Miss Alaska because I wanted some scholarship money. And then before I knew it, I was at Miss America. So I think there's really no harm in trying, right? And getting some scholarship money along the way. So remind me, what, what, what separated you from the other contestants while you were uh, competing? So I was really fortunate. I just happened to be set up with the right questions at the competition. So I was uh, able to talk about transparency as a public figure and why that's important. So I talked about my struggles with ADHD as a woman and how I wasn't actually diagnosed with ADHD until I was 19 years, 19 years old, so just two years ago. And my struggles with dermatillomania, which is chronic skin picking, a form of OCD. So I think as Miss America, it's been wonderful to show people that you can be in a role like Miss America and still have struggles of your own. And you can talk about those struggles openly. There's no need to feel ashamed about, you know, your past. I think if anything, those dark times are what are going to propel you into your future. So you have a few more months left, right? Yes. What do you hope to accomplish in those months? You know, I am so thrilled to continue my travel around the country. Um, I've really enjoyed getting to visit so many schools and be able to talk to young students and show them that you can achieve so much greatness in your life. You know, you don't have to be set up from birth. You know, I was just a normal college student before I won Miss America, and now here I am, right? You can achieve anything that you put your mind to. So it's really cool to get to have this position and to be a role model for so many young people out there. And especially in the Korean American community, right? Yes, yeah. It's really special to be the first Korean American Miss America and to be able to be that representation that I never got to see in popular media when I was growing up. 
Well, congratulations to you, Emma Broyles. This is wonderful. So if people are interested in learning more information about the scholarship program, is there a website or something they can go to? Yes, uh, MissAmerica.org is going to be their best bet. They can also get information from any of the Miss America social media accounts. Well, so nice talking to you again. Yes. Hope you enjoy the next few months. I'm sure we'll see each other. Oh, I'm sure we will. <laughs> we'll wrestle for that crown on your last okay. day, Emma Broyles. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you so you much. Thank you so much. All I right. really appreciate it.